This is a $50 million Bitcoin mine. It's really loud in here. Starting with the purchase of 20 Bitcoin in 2013, JP could have bought 11 Lamborghinis by now. But instead, he scaled up into multiple Bitcoin mining facilities that now mine several whole coins each month. And with struggles such as a $400,000 per month electric bill and declining Bitcoin prices, this video gives an inside look at the positives and negatives of Bitcoin mining. We are about to pull up on JP's mining facility. Our GPS is telling us that it's literally right up there. Let's pull up. So we're gonna go give him a call right now. Yo, JP, we're here. Okay, we'll be out there in uh, two seconds. Dope, dope. All right, see you soon. Dude, I'm hyped. You can hear it. You can already hear the supercomputers in the distance. What's up? How are you doing today? Yeah. This right. one's uh, two pods with eight pods per string. Yeah, we got about 1,200 machines. Around okay. 12 to 1,300. With over $2 million of Bitcoin miners at this first facility, I knew I was in for a treat with the proper ear protection. We've got one through eight over here. Nine right through 16. Look at all these computers. Money. A single ASIC miner can produce between 50 and 80 decibels of sound, which comes from the cooling fans on each of these powerful $2,000 machines. Also, on the back of each pod full of miners are fans that blow out the hot air produced. If you ask for at least my opinion, it's been a long time since Bitcoin mining was something you could easily do from home. Mounting concerns of noise and electricity cost has large-scale Bitcoin mines moving to remote locations. With the mine in Norway being shut down for noise pollution or in North Carolina, line of mine based near a residential area has neighbors comparing it to a jet engine that never stops or living on top of Niagara Falls. This right here is a, a transformer. That means it takes the power from one voltage and drops it down to what a computer can use. Each one of those goes for about $75,000 $65,000. Cables run underground and go straight to this thing here. Which is called a switch gear. And that's where you can turn off the power uh, on the breakers which control all these miners. You can see the internet wire comes up there underneath the ground. These are fins that let the air come in and the fans are on the back exhausting the heat out. So one thing I noticed immediately when pulling up on this facility is this massive like electrical plant in your front yard. This is called a substation here and that is a bigger transformer as I mentioned that takes the voltage from one level to another. That takes the voltage from this line up here which is 69,000 volts and brings it down to 13,000 volts which then we have our transformer break it down again. That transformer right there is probably about 250 to 500 thousand dollars. For this five megawatt mining facility facility, JP invested $750,000 into infrastructure between the land, the pods, the transformer, and all of the electrical work. New sites, we're continuing to drop the price on, getting more efficient, bringing on like electricians onto our team. Our goal is to do one of these sites every month for this year. But what's even crazier is none of the machines at this first facility are owned by JP himself. He's simply profit sharing with the machine owners or upcharging on the electricity. As an example, I just got two ASIC S19 miners that'll be hosted at JP's facility for 6.5 cents per kilowatt. His cost of energy is between four and five cents, so the difference for him is profit. I'm actually in the process right now of packaging these machines to ship to one of JP's facilities, and it'll actually be the third one we tour in this video, so stay tuned. The machines are officially shipped out to JP. Fingers crossed they arrive safely. And for those of you wondering what my profitability will be for these two machines, I just received an email saying my electricity cost will be $9.38 per day, while my projected machine's earnings are $15. As for JP's earnings, he's earning about a dollar or two a day per machine, but you can see how that adds up across 1,300 machines. We just made it to mining facility number two. We're about to go tour, and actually, let's let's give JP a call and let him know that we're here. Hey, well, yeah, I'm in the tour trailer on the side of the big building, bring the food in here, and then um, I'm in a meeting, and I'll come out there when we're done. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Way louder than the initial location. I'm excited to walk through. I toured this mining facility exactly one year ago when Bitcoin was trading at 40000 thousand dollars per coin. As I looked around waiting for JP, I realized just how much things have changed. You guys have a lot of miners sitting around, I noticed. It's that we need them repaired from when we had the snow a year ago. Yeah, so really fun things like this happened. Wow. How much was the loss? A lot. The insurance fund was over 400 grand. All of these machines were damaged by the snow. They don't have warranty and they're sitting here trying to be fixed. Like this is literally hundreds of thousands of dollars of machinery just down the drain. To make matters worse, JP took a $1 million loan out to buy miners at this location, and with declining Bitcoin prices, he might be in trouble. So you're making no money or losing money. So at the end of the day, you're doing negative, you know, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. Does it scare me? But first,
first, I want to thank today's sponsor, Course Careers. In order to invest in most streams of passive income, you need money up front. And the best way to do that is through a high paying career. Course Careers is literally replacing college by teaching you everything you need to know to work a tech job through an affordable online class. And they even help you land your first job or internship after the fact. You'd be surprised. A lot of companies, especially in the tech industry, have dropped their degree requirement. A bunch of information is linked down below of people who've had success working with Course Careers, such as Nyla, who went from working as a Starbucks barista to making $60,000 a year working from home doing technology sales. Or Ben, who went from working as a janitor feeling stuck in his job to making $80,000 a year doing the exact same thing. The link will be down below in the description for those of you who are interested, and they even have a free technology course to get started. If you guys use my code WOLF50, you get $50 off their full course. And now, let's get back to the snowstorm. The snow can build up in drafts, and then it kind of keeps blowing in, especially with the wind. As you can see, there's nothing blocking the wind for miles and miles. All of the machines destroyed belong to JP and it took about six months to get a $400,000 insurance claim. Well, we're going to tour the facility. I know there's no more Breaking Bad Van. No oh, Breaking Bad Van, but we're going to go check out the new update. How much bigger is this facility than the last one? This yeah. one is about 30% bigger than the other facilities. So this okay. facility holds about 2,000 machines. There's about 700 machines or 600 machines in this one alone. Oh yeah, I remember this. All these machines. This is insane. Last month, this facility mined 16.41 Bitcoin. But with a lot of that being paid out to investors, profit isn't what you think it is. We paid a power bill of 172 grand. A hosting power bill where we got paid for people running here was around $34,000. Our tech support fee or fee we charge clients, $1,500. Our management fee was $24,000. Our performance fee for this month was only $27,000. So that leaves us with a gross profit of $54,000. $50,000 per month profit isn't bad but sadly, he's not done yet. And you pay the staff 22 k and then you pay sales commissions of $4,500, and then you pay a debt. So at the end of the day, you're doing negative 30000 40000 50000 Does it scare me? No, because I, I trust the process in Bitcoin, and I know that you can keep selling assets to pay the bills. JP has lost over $2 million of Bitcoin on his balance sheet since the beginning of the bear market. But by saving money when times were good, he can afford to continue operating and expand into new ventures. Such as 12 hosting sites, JP he plans to build over the next 12 months. By simply hosting machines for other people and not taking on debt for any of his own, it's much more lucrative during this bear market. Each site we build is anywhere between $40,000, could be up to like $200,000 a month in profit. So right now in a bear market, it's gonna be closer to $40,000 for a full site, like the one you're gonna see tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, it's another day and we're about to tour Bitcoin mining facility number three. We drove another three hours yesterday and we're about to pull up on the newest facility that JP started. I'm Will. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. This facility is still in the process of being built, so no machines are in it yet. We started right when it started to frost, done everything from the ground up, even the concrete. Oh actually. my gosh. When we put these pods together, they're in pieces. Like this is a split between the pods, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to be able to connect energized rail basically all the way across. Then we got power to our machines that are going to be on these racks. How long do you think until it's going to be pretty much done? We're estimating probably another two weeks. So it's really cool to see what a site looks like like before it's actually done. There's gonna be the same amount of miners in here as there was in the first facility. And as you guys can see, they already have like the ethernet cables to plug into the miners all set up. They already have like the whole shelving done. This location is also where I shipped my machines out to. So in a couple weeks when it's all up and running, I'm excited to see how much money I make. But as for JP's entire operation, he mines between 40 and 45 Bitcoin per month. And to put that in perspective, 900 Bitcoins are released each day. So JP's mining accounts for 0.16 6% of the Bitcoin network. This is a massive industry that I personally have tens of thousands of dollars invested into, and JP is pretty much all in. Yeah, most of my net worth is in crypto. How have, much percent would you say? Definitely 90%. And I have stocks and I have other things, but for me, like the asymmetric return that's going to get the highest return in my mind over the next 10 years is Bitcoin. Either way, we're going to be massively wrong or right in a big way, so subscribe to find out, and congratulations, Lucas Sales, on winning the free crypto miner in this box. Just send me a DM on Instagram if that's you to claim your prize and another crypto miner will be given away to one of you who comment below on this video. Peace out.